Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. This is Travels with Phil, and we're going to Tennessee to see where Nancy Ward, the Cherokee beloved woman, lived and died in the eastern part of Tennessee. Her name was uh, Nan Yihi, which was Cherokee for one who goes about. They called her Nancy Ward in English. And a beloved woman was a woman who was held in the highest respect in the Cherokee Nation. And you can see on the map, Chodo is where she was born. Benton, or the area around Benton, is where she died. This is the actual scene of uh, Chota. Uh, a, a beloved woman would uh, be uh, participate in certain ceremonies. Uh, she would participate in negotiations. Often she was in charge of prisoners. And uh, this was a very exalted position within the Cherokee Nation. And this is the general area where she lived. She was the uh, niece of Atakula Kula, one of the major players in this particular time. She lived from about 1738 to 1822. Later video, I say 1788, but it's just because it was hard to read the print. But this is uh, where she was born. She eventually, after about 40 years or so, moved uh, further south over toward Benton. And this is where she uh, was buried. This uh, cemetery site here was donated by the daughters the American Revolution, and they've done a very nice job out here, and you can see uh, some of the uh, pretty uh, uh, scenery here. In fact, let's go over to the video that I took from the scene there at the gravesite. Travels with Phil continues to the gravesite of Nancy Ward. This is located just south of Benton, Tennessee. You're looking at three graves here. One of them is for Five Killer, the other one is for Longfellow. And then directly in front of you here is the one for Nancy Ward. Now, if you can read the plaque here, well, if you can't read the plaque, I'll read it for you. It says, in memory of Nancy Ward, princess and prophetess of the Cherokee Nation, the Pocahontas of Tennessee, the constant friend of the American pioneer, born 1788, died 1822. And that's from the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution. Move around here a little bit so you can uh, see the side of the uh, grave site. It's a very peaceful area out here. Lots and lots of birds, at least there are here on uh, May 16th. See a couple of uh, uh, live, things that have been left on the grave itself. Some corn, looks like some flowers have been left up here. And there's a tree growing right from the foot of the grave site. Couple of flagpoles, uh, seven pointed star off to the side. It's up on a hill just off the side of the road here. And you can hear a lot of the birds there in the background. So, a lot of effort's been put into uh, this site. Not too sure about the princess part, but uh, she was definitely a beloved woman among the Cherokees. So, again, the grave site of Nancy Ward, just south of Benton, Tennessee. And part of her uh, history came from uh, her participating in a battle uh, and took over for a husband. There's been some controversy whether the Battle of Tallow actually took place. But in any case, she's very famous amongst the Cherokee. And in fact, here over at the uh, North Carolina Museum of History, they have a section uh, here about her. And I'll go over to that video. All right, Travels with Phil continues in the North Carolina Museum of History. This is a Cherokee exhibit part of it they mentioned it a couple of other places and again you can always pause this to read the text but uh, I brought showing this one because it talks about Nancy Ward thank you very much for watching this video please feel free to leave comments down below as long as the language is family friendly and if you would like to subscribe to my channel just click on the button over on the right hand side thank you very much